Hi, this is a special edition of Tea Time where we bring you some of the very interesting upcoming artists. Now, this is what happened. Let's just confess. You know, each time I tell you, um, follow us on our YouTube page, on our Instagram page at Plus TV Africa. Some of you do not take it serious, but something went down there that wasn't brought to the Tea Time show and we picked our winner. So basically, we had a competition where we had talented people sending their videos of them doing what they do. And um, there was a mini um, voting uh, mechanism for them to get their fans to tell us they love what they're doing and we've chosen three exceptional people to come and perform live on Tea Time. So if you want to be part of our subsequent um, competitions, then you have to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, definitely at Plus TV Africa. Of course, my name is Elsie Godwin and I have my anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwash. Okay. What up? Hi. How you doing? But like you said, eh, so when things are not working out for you, it's not your village people. We tell you go on Instagram, mm -hmm. go on YouTube, subscribe yeah. and all mm -hmm. that and you don't get to do that. So you probably missed out on this mm -hmm. big opportunity. But more to come, not to worry, yeah, right? Like you yeah. said, yeah. So keep an eye out for that. I mm -hmm. think it's something that people need to start to follow through. And there's a lot of people that are talented and should also get the opportunity. So if you're feeling like there's a bit of FOMO here and there, don't mm -hmm. worry. They will just... Have a look at press the notification bell. I've had used to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, press the notification uh, bell so you can mm -hmm. always get all the updates. Mm -hmm. But be how wise, are you guys? Be like if I subscribe. <laughs> I'm good. It's nice to be checked. But you know what? We have um, people that are ready to help us feel good. So um, let's start with the first person who goes by the name Mayor Thompson. He hails from Ishenyi or your state, Nigeria. He's a fast rising sensation singer and songwriter. He has a huge passion for Jesus and love for humanity. He won the Top Nigerian Music Award 2014 for performing a song which is presently in his anticipated album. He's king again. He also has a series of music videos and singles and has been at the um, he has been at it for the past six years. So um, let's hear Mayo Thompson do his thing. We will sing. To the one who was and is alive again, we will sing to the one who was and is a king again. Hallelujah. The lamb was slain, he is king again. You gotta hoop so I can get up again. Yeah, the lamb was slain, he is king again. What shall I render unto you, Jehovah? Yeah, the lamb was slain, he is king again. So we sing in our right. The land we're slain, yeah, he's king again. Yeah. And on the hill there's a cross, on the cross you were slain, and we're slain, he's king again. Yeah, and we will sing. To the one who was and is alive again, yeah. we will sing oh, to the one who was and is a king again. That was really nice, Mayor. That was awesome. I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, somebody. Oh my yeah. goodness. I'm still in spirit. Yeah. Please don't let him distract you, Emilio. <laughs> you, you, you actually inspired my spiritual life, so it's a good thing. Ah. No, 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 no. no. If, uh, yes, yes, yes. It's king again. You know, do you know how many like songs were in that? I saw, oh, yeah, I saw yeah, Nara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard. Uh, mm -hmm. what, That's what, what you know. the second one. Uh, the anthem. Um, the, 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 the one in the middle before Nara. 
Oh, okay. Uh, what shall I render? What yeah. shall I? You know, that's you something that. Yeah, that's yeah, a so, part of you. You know, so that's <laughs> a vibe. That's something that when you get into in church, you know, those are the type of music you want to listen to, especially the new generation church where mm. they actually speak or not how to bind and cast demons and they if actually. If I listen about you, so. yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually getting there. Okay. So, which cool, is cool, why cool, I cool. want to ask you that: What inspires your music? Because you know, gospel is not the thing that the new generation listens to, right? Wow. So, okay. well, a lot. Lot of people don't let me generalize it yeah, but mm -hmm. some people do not really listen to gospel especially I now like, mm -hmm. oh my god <laughs> I, I listen to gospel if it's this good yes huh? oh my wow okay okay um, don't let your ass swear calm down uh, <laughs> by the end of the day right what inspires you and um are you trying to carry the people especially the youths these days that like the basil's music yeah, yeah, along yeah, with yeah. your gospel sound so i believe i believe gospel music what makes gospel music gospel is the fact that you're saying the gospel inside it. But mm. So I can choose to do a gospel sound mm. and put the lyrics about God mm. or about Jesus mm. or about something uh, very simple. Uh, for example, I did a song at, um, the song that got me the award, which I've not recorded in like six, five or six years now. I'm just mm. recording it for this um, album is King Again. And the song is titled Indivisible. It's a patriotic song. Mm. You won't, it won't sound like your regular gospel song. Um, it was, I think it was one of the reasons why um, uh, Timmy Dacolo was sort of fond of me a little because it was patriotic, it was about mm. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So I can do that, but to you it sounds gospel mm. until you listen to the lyrics. Mm. So that, I believe that's what makes gospel music gospel, is the lyrics. So that's the niche you're carving out for yeah, yourself. Yeah. That's what makes you sound different from every yeah, other yeah, gospel yeah. artist. Mm. Yeah. What are you I mean. hoping to achieve with, you know, pushing your music out there and recording with the album coming? Like, what is your vision for all of that effort? Uh, well, to put, just, just to make it simple, very simple, um, I think it's just to get people to realize that, um, uh, how do I put this? There's church music and there's gospel music. To make people realize, hey, this gospel music isn't that boring. Really. So there's church music and yeah, there's Yeah, you know, there's this church music. music. Once you What's hear, like, a very crazy sound in the beginning, there's a lot of drums and mm. rolls, and there's this piano going everywhere, everywhere. So that's everywhere. church mm. music. You're like, okay, we know it's church. Like, we get it, you mm. know? Mm. But then you, don't, you want to hear a song like um, uh, Loved By You, Snoop Dogg, Mali music, you know, and you're like, is that gospel? Mm. Mm. You know, you're, you're thinking in your head, is that the really lyrics gospel? Yeah. Actually but then it. the lyrics actually defines it, which is why I like um, Chiki's album, um, mm. Bow of the Bullets. It's clean. It's not like it's gospel, but it's clean. It's something anybody will listen to. Yeah. Mm. So I think that I, that one song that that way is I Look to You with Nick Houston. Mm. So yeah. you can decide to, mm -hmm. it's, it depends on how you want to interpret yeah, it. Yeah, I was even surprised with yeah. Simi's Do You Care? Mm. And what was happening mm -hmm. on social media, like, those um, churches and sell people doing the old mm -hmm. to the care. What about like, Teshimole? Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> oh, okay. So when is your album <laughs> dropping and um, what do we expect from you going forward? Um, album should be dropping. Uh, just a lot of pressure. I, it's my first album, so I, did, nice. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. a lot of work. Okay. Yeah, because there was... The, the way they play music is like, oh, just go to the studio, record, get mm. out, the song is going to be okay. Mm -hmm. And then you get there and realize, you hear it, you're like, well, did that sound like that? Yeah. And you can't change it, you have to re-record again, re-record again. And imagine you're doing that to like 10 songs. Right. So are you a perfectionist? So. Um, what's your creative process like, process like, as in, do you have to go back and re-record or do you just let it go and just go with the vibe? Well, uh... I'm going to have to put Bible into this, I'm sorry. No, it's but, fine. <laughs> oh, feel free. Like, like the Bible says, uh, find a man diligent in what he does, he'll stand before kings and not mere men. It's mm. king you want again. to be diligent, you want to do something well, you have to put excellence into it. You just mm. can't give people... Pride. Preach it, brother. Yeah. <laughs> but that's how we wrap up this conversation. We wish you the very best. Very, Leo, very and best. And we are mm. definitely going to have um, to look at the album and talk about it on TV.